Well, I finally got my Playdate, and it's a very unique system. I like the, you know, D-pad, couple of buttons, and then, of course, you have the crank on there as well. Now, when you first get your Playdate and you activate it and all that, it only comes with two games uh, up front, and then it releases two new games, like, every week for so often. Of course, I was late getting this, but unfortunately, the other games have already been released for the other people who have their Playdate. I wish it would just give you those games all at once. Well, the good news is, even if you get yours late like I did, uh, there's plenty of games you can grab through the Itch website. Plenty of free games, plenty of free demos. There are a couple of games on there that you do have to pay a couple of bucks. But from what I've noticed, I haven't seen any game over $9. So I went through, I grabbed a bunch of games, I purchased a bunch of games on here too. And here are some of the hidden gems on your play date that you don't have to wait for. You can download them right now. And when you do, it even gives it a neat little animation of when you open a new game, oh my goodness. Ooh, let's check out this game and a bunch of the other games I just grabbed. I mean, even the game that comes default, like, you know, Whitewater Wipeout, probably most people's first experience playing the Playdate is this game here. Again, this is the game that comes with the system. The, the, the very first thing you can grab is this game and then another game, but, you know, pretty cool. Can I go for it? Oh, yeah, buddy. Lame. All right. <laughs> well, let's check out some of the other games, though. Now, this is 1-Bit Pac-Man. Uh, again, you're going to find some unlicensed games on here, too. But, you know, it's if you're just looking for your quick Pac-Man fix, it's really not bad. You know, it's, you know, what can I say? It's Pac-Man. You know, the procedural scrolling and everything. That's kind of fun. Ah, lame. Thank you. Yeah, this just keeps going and going and going, you know. So, so yeah, stuff like this. This was free. I was very interested in this because it looked like a Famicom cart. Wani Wani Picnic, the name of this game. Plays like a classic platformer here. And the gimmick is you open your mouth to eat. And you have a hunger meter down here, right? So as long as your mouth is open, you can eat. The problem is you can't overeat or it's game over. It's just your traditional platformer, you know. I could have seen this maybe on a... Uh, I'll go for the burger this time. Could have seen this on the Famicom, maybe. It's nice with that hunger button, the open mouth button, is as long as you're opening your mouth, you know, you can just run right into the enemies. Again, the problem is, if you eat too much, like that thing, too full, not good. You know, so you can open your mouth as a deterrent to get hit to lose health. However, you know, if you eat too much, that's going to be bad news for you. So you have to avoid enemies sometimes, or try to, on purpose, to get Alley, the alligator. Sometimes I just keep the mouth open <laughs> just in case i accidentally run into an enemy or something but see now if i eat another enemy it'll be game over for me so i gotta avoid at all costs for now a little tricky uh, platforming procedure can you go through that i bet you can i'm going for the lollipop this time or whatever i grabbed anyway wani wani picnic pretty fun game on this one i'd recommend grabbing it this game is best played in portrait mode which does kind of recognize when you do this. Careful, careful. Carefully, carefully. Hmm, I'll go up this way this time. A quiet voice. Okay. Down this way. Little timed element here. Oh, get out there, get out there. Yeah, see? Got a little dungeon crawler, little mini games along the way. This one might be worth checking out. 036. Uh, I guess the next one in order would be 9. What do you think? Oh boy. Uh, I'll go to this one. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, wrong button. Lame. Okay. Well, anyway, this one's a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun with this. Make sure you check it out too. Feels like I've been driving forever. Where is this place? Hey, look at the moon. There's V down there. This game is called Puppergeist. I've arrived at the manor. The letter said the key would be hidden under a rock. Well, let's check under the rock. An odd rock. Seems out of place. Uh, there's a key hidden underneath it. So, old school. It's locked. Well, it's alright. I have an inventory. There we go. So, plays like an old school adventure style game here. Again, Puppergeist. That's alright. Just go through the back. <laughs> Can't make it through the front. 
go through the back. That's the way to do it. That's all. Interesting. Something to break it down. Oh, I'm going to have to use DX to break it down. Wait. A little invisible maze up in the corner here. A well-worn spade. Can you solve the mystery in Puppergeist? Here's Cranky Bird. <laughs> so you can hit the button if you'd like, or to like, you know, give it that extra bit of, that extra bit of, uh, you know, usability. You certainly may. Yeah, he's cranky, by the way. <laughs> Alright, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Or again, if you just want to hit the button. Oh, no! Don't hit the spikes. On through the next screen. Oh, get back here. Come on. There we go. It's... <laughs> it's something, anyway. You might want to check it out. Here's Retro Derby. Can I see where we want to go? Oh, right in the middle. Come on. I can't get through that. Just hold the A button. You'll kind of teleport past everyone there. Up gear. There we go. So, reminds me of those little games, those little, uh, like, they weren't really graphics. It was just like a sheet <laughs> that would just, like, rotate and you just kind of like to steer the thing. Nah, you know. Might be worth checking out. Ribbit Rabbit. Now, this game is available for purchase. This one is just the demo version. <laughs> oh, I just love the intro. You eat carrot flies, can't swim, though he jumps one, two, one, two, etc. So, what that means is you jump once, and then you skip a jump, and you d jump like two spaces. One space, two space, one space, two space, one space, two space, one space, two space, and so on. So you have to keep that in mind when you're doing these. So I can't just move over. If I move over, I'll die, right? I'll just, I mean, it's funny, yeah, I can't, I can't, I gotta drown. So one, two, 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 one, two. You gotta really plan your strategy on how you're gonna jump to get to where you need to go here. And then there's things like this room, which has a switch in it. So we'll find that first. One, two, one, two, one. If I hit, it's only supposed to be one, but there's a thing in the way. So that counts. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right. Oh, see, I was going to jump two on the other one. So I got my timing all off here. So I'm on the switch. Click the switch. One, two. Mm, how do I get over there? One, two, one, two. No, see, I, I shouldn't do that. Fortunately, the switch is already switched. So, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, too far. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. 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 Got it. See? So there you go. And you just keep going from there. Very, very interesting. Very cool game. This uh, The demo is available. It's also available for purchase for a couple of bucks. If you want to turn off the music, you can on this one. This is Coin Germs. Grab the coin. Watch out for that thing. Eee! Coin. Coin. Jump. Jump. Do -do 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 -do. Jump. So, and this one's an easy one. This one's like, you know, and this one's available. You can just grab it right now from the, uh, the, from the itch uh, shop there. Nicely done. And then it goes on and on and does, you know, some of the cool things on the way too. That's right, Pop Pop is up next. You will absorb the enemy if you uh, if you hit it. See, and I'm losing health on this one. Dude. Okay. Got it. 
it's just cool to see, you know, you know, how far you can go. Or it's a high score getter, no doubt about that. Come on, move away from the edge. It's all right. You can always get them from this side too. There we go. <laughs> Oh no, I keep forgetting that there's a thing on the dealio itself too, so might be fun to check it out too. The, this one here, Pop Pop. Snakes? You know the premise of this game anyway. You gotta get all the stuff to get out of the room while not being able to, you know, go back where you came from. I always had fond memories playing games like this. You know, it always reminds me of the discs of Tron. Oh, see, it's too late. You can't do it. So you can reset it, no problem. Uh, the the uh, Tron cycles is what I meant to say. Is what this kind of reminded me of. See, but now how am I going to get back through there? I can't. So you got to keep, you know, you got to find a way through it. <laughs> this is just for fun. This is the Cracked Screen Park. It makes it look like you cracked your screen. No, I did not crack my screen. It just looks like I did. That's all that is. It, can't, it doesn't really do anything. It just, just looks like that. <laughs> it was free. Come on. Now, Rachel's Game Pack um, is set to have more games soon. Right now, there's a couple of games available. See, there's a lot of games coming soon. Uh, but here I have Toilet Paper Cat. You know what to do here, right? Just do this as fast as you can. It tells you up in the corner how much you have left. Hard to see when it's all, you know. Right now, it's about 50% done. Go for the high score here. There we go. And done. All right, took me 22 seconds. I can do better next time. Let's see if I do better next time. <laughs> Put my money where my mouth is. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm going to bring a break in this thing here pretty soon. I better not. I'll just keep going. I won't even bother looking at the time. There we go. 19 seconds. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. There's one called baseball on here, too. Baseball. Get it? I'm going to aim it right about there. Boop. Nice. Yeah. Nope. Love the sound. Pew! Huh, pretty fun. Again, more games are going to be added soon. Absence makes... It's like an interactive poem, they said this one is. This is also admittedly the first time I'm playing this. I just thought I'd check it out. Hmm. There we go. Interesting. Yeah, fun. Now, naturally, if you have a game with a crank, you got to have the fishing simulator. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Nope. Bring it back up. Wrong way. Yeah. So when you lower in here, looking for the big ones. Looking for the big fish. Come on. How far we get? How deep we going to go here? Oh, here's a good one. Bring it all the way back up. Come on. All the way. That's got to be a new personal best right there. There we go. A new best. I've only caught the little fish so far. So I've got a barracuda. There we go. Down for that. Must be a heart fish. If it's a barracuda. Eh, let's see what else we got. We got one more. Let's find one more. Oh, there we go. That was way deep. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> This one uh, was a free game on the itch site too, so yeah. May as well check it out, right? Barracuda. Oh, a 91 centimeter Barracuda. Not bad. Bomber Panda. I had to check this game out. I don't need to tell you what game this is similar to. You can see it for yourself. However, I'm down. Ah, come on. All right, let's see if we can. Oh, come on. Not good. Not close enough. But 
But those things will go right through your bomb. Ugh. It just charges right towards you. If you die, though, it's no problem. You'll start right back to where you were. But this guy that likes to charge towards me. Got him. Disintegrated. Very cool. Yep. Looking for your Bomberman fix on something like this. This is the way to go. Bomber Panda. Oh, come on. Now this, I mean, I had to check it out. For this one, I need to turn up the volume. Because it's like a record. See, That's all this is. I mean, well, you, you get it though. Dragon Hunt Adventure. Oh yeah, let me turn the volume back down. Either. So here's me up here. What? Oh, can't go through the title screen. Got to go around it through the door. These little houses. You can go in these houses too to. See what's going down. Talk to these people over here. The giant dragon lives in the mountains. Head to the north. No. Uh, here I am. Look at this beast. Greeting, stranger. You've crossed the river. So, you know, again, I don't know one of these kind of adventure style games here. Got Airball up next. And... It's literally just this. Like, how many times can you volley? Yeah, let me let me speed up the footage here a bit. Ah, lame. All right, so but yeah, as you can see, it gets faster and faster every time you play it. So this one's a little bit like Missile Command in a way, where you use your crank and then your D-pad to uh, shoot. But they're always coming down at you. Oh, they got one of my cities here. All right. There's too many things on screen. You can also do drop a bomb, just like that. Oh, I got this. I got the kind of machine gun thing. This one does cause some slowdown, but man, does it look cool to look at this. You know, maybe the slowdown's on purpose. <laughs> Getting really targeted on the enemies. Yeah, th this one. This one's been a fun one. Oh, there's again. <laughs> I love it. Plunge is an interesting one. You have to be a thief by bringing items out through the kind of like laser wires, the uh, alarm wires. So I'm trying to steal this Rubik's cube from some rich dude right now. And when this thing turns full screen, I better be. See, I wasn't. So I got caught right there. Let's try the next one. City Museum. Ah! This game just keeps you wanting to keep coming back, saying, I can do this, I can do this. All right. Ah, see. Once again, maybe it should have been on the other side. Well... Got it. There we go. Got my vase. It really is kind of a fun, neat little system. I'm looking forward to seeing what other games come out soon, both from people making it as well as the games that are added to it officially. And very much so hoping that future games that people are just making for fun will eventually be an official release on this system.